They're disgusting, they carry diseases, and unless you're an excellent housekeeper, sooner or later you'll find some roaches in your home. What's the best way to get rid of them? To help us answer that question, we've asked Kara Johnston to join us on the Dollar Stretcher interview. Hi, I'm Gary Foreman, editor of thedollarstretcher.com. With me today is Kara Johnston, a customer service representative at domyownpestcontrol.com. She's been trained by pest control professionals to help people with any type of pest problems, including today's topic, roaches. Kara, thanks for joining us. Good morning, Gary. How are you? Very good, very good. And uh, tell us a little bit about roaches. So what do they need to, uh, to live and multiply? Roaches need a lot of moisture area where there's water standing. Um, they need any type of food source that, that they're looking for to take back to their colony. That can be crumbs, it can be fruit, it can be any type of just sugar, any type of uh, household food. So they're not picky eaters. No, they're not picky, not picky, not like ants. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, how fast can roaches multiply? Because it seems like uh, uh, if you, you see one and if you don't do something to correct it, uh, a week later you're looking at the dozens of them. Yes, very rapidly. Um, German roaches tend to be the, the quickest uh, roach species to multiply. Um, it, and if you, don't, if you don't get a handle on it, they, they can rapidly multiply. Now, I know uh, people generally, uh, uh, you know, they're disgusted by roaches, and a lot of times uh, that alone is enough to call them, uh, have them call a professional exterminator, but do you really need a professional to get rid of roaches? No, not at all, not at all. With, with uh, you know, the proper knowledge and, and the right tools and the right advice and, and, and treatment products, you can certainly do it yourself. Now, when, when someone does uh, uh, find a roach in their kitchen or whatever, uh, uh, I, I, I'm assuming that there are different types of roaches. Uh, is it important to know what type of roach that you have, or does uh, what you treat one with uh, kind of treats them all? It is. It is very important to know the type of roach that you're dealing with because what might help with a German roach won't work for an American cockroach or a wood roach. So um, it's, it's very important to know the type of roaches that you're trying to treat for. Okay. Now, what, what kind of treatments are available uh, uh, for the average consumer to get rid of roaches? Um, there are a couple of different treatment options. You can use um, a, a bait source, which is going to be their food source. You can use an insecticide spray, um, which would be like a non-repellent that they can they pick up on their bodies and even skeletons and share amongst the, the colonies. You can also use a dust inside wall wood, which is something a lot of people don't think about. Now, is there a frequency of treatment that uh, uh, that you recommend? It, it, there is. There's a, a different frequency with the which, with with whichever product you're going to use. Um, baits you tend to need to rotate every two weeks, just like our food can go stale if it sits out for a certain amount of time. So can theirs. So that's that's a very important thing to do is to to rotate the bait. Um, indoors, uh, your typical insecticide spray will last about 90 days. Um, so that's more of like a quarterly treatment that you need to do. With dust and using in wall voids, you're looking at six to eight months worth of protection. Now I know a, a lot of our our readers and viewers are, are somewhat concerned about things. They hear words like insecticide and they naturally get a little concerned. Uh, they like more natural products. Are, are there some treatments that are safer for family and pests than others? Uh, definitely. Um, we have um, organic and, and uh, green products that you can use. For those that that's a concern, um, all of our insecticides, for the most part, once you apply them and, they're, and they dry, they're safe for pets, children. You don't need to leave the home for days at a time or for you know half a day. Once it's dry, it's safe. So it's not like it used to be uh, years ago. No, no, no. They've come a long way, a long way with that. And that, now I know uh, you mentioned a little bit ago uh, knowing what type of roach it is, and I, I you know, from uh, prior conversations, I understand that uh, uh, consumers can call and, and uh, you'll help help them identify what roach they're dealing with. Uh, uh, can you tell us a little bit uh, about the rest of the services that DoMyOwnPestControl.com offers? Certainly, certainly. Um, we have a, over 5,000 products in our inventory to help with every type of pest you can imagine. Um, we help you with a program if you're unsure of where to start. Um, we have great articles on our website, um, and you know all the representatives here 
if we're happy to email customers with information so they have it on hand. Um, we have lawn and garden products, we have backpack sprayers, we have fungicides, herbicides, um, traps for, for your outdoor uh, nuisance animals. Wide variety of products we carry. And I would think uh, for a lot of our, uh, like say, viewers and readers, uh, they're very much into do-it-yourself, but this is a case where uh, you, you still have a professional uh, available to you by email or phone if you really need it. Yes, yes. We're available 24 hours. We have representatives that are on live chat. Even if uh, at the end of the day when our, when our phone systems have been turned off, we also have direct email to support at DoMyOwnPestControl.com if you have any questions. Um, we take we take a lot of pride in getting back to our customers very promptly with any concerns or questions they have. Fantastic. Well, Kara, we, we thank you for sharing uh, what you know about roaches and helping us uh, uh, keep those pests out of our out of yeah. our homes. <laughs> and uh, we invite viewers to come back uh, and join us again on the next Dollar Stretcher interview uh, uh, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, visit thedollarstretcher.com. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Gary. Have a great day. Take care.